Markets are crashing. Bitcoin is down. All coins are down. The stock market is down. The pen is down. Taiwan, South Korea, global tensions, recession fears. Your portfolio has probably taken a beating like mine has, but fear not because we've identified five projects that we believe are an absolutely easy 10x from here, including some favorites like Near Protocol, Cardano. I have three other ones, and I got one at the very end that I think from current prices, it's got an absolute real chance to 50X and it is in the top 100, playing into a very, very important narrative for this cycle. So make sure to stay tuned through the entirety of the video. Now you might be wondering, why the hell did everything crash? Well, we know crypto is extremely leveraged, but it's more than just a leverage, right? Something has to set it off, the cascading effects, then we start getting those liquidations. So as you can see here from the crypto bubbles, on the weekly, not a single site of green. Everything is red near protocol down 33%, Pepe down 40%, Phantom down 34%, Polkadot 25%. A lot of these projects are down over 30% on the weekly. Doesn't look much better on the daily as we are starting to see some altcoins turn a corner, but there are, again, five that we have identified at current prices that could potentially make you a lot of money. I mentioned the stock market. The NASDAQ was down 6% before the market even opened yesterday because of this. Japan saw its worst point drop in history. The Nikkei 225, Japan's largest stock market, is currently set to post its largest two-day drop in history. Now, this was about 10 hours ago, so this has come to fruition. It has happened Friday, Monday, the two worst consecutive days in Japanese stock market history. This is an even larger drop than the Black Monday crash of 1987. Now South Korea has halted all sell orders as markets crashed. Panic selling has arrived. I mentioned Taiwan. That is down as well. Uh, Chinese markets and the U.S. markets as well. You can see here currently with the market being open, Dow Jones down 866 points. S&P 500 down over 2%. NASDAQ down over 2%. The VIX, which measures volatility in the stock market, that is up 40%. Now, when you see the VIX start to climb, that is typically when we see a lot of sell-offs. If you're looking for a reversal indicator using the VIX, you want to start seeing the VIX start to settle down again. That usually marks a pretty good local bottom. Take a look at liquidations. I mentioned crypto is extremely leveraged. Over $1.1 billion was liquidated from the cryptocurrency markets in the last 24 hours. And to nobody's surprise, over three quarters of those were long positions. Now, what does this do in the short term? Well, it resets the funding rate. It clears all the long positions, all the over-leveraged traders. I think the number was around 300,000 traders. 300,000 accounts were liquidated. So massive amounts of numbers that we haven't really seen since FTX and early, mid-2022. Now, now that we figured out why is the market going down, what happened, we have recession fears, we have geopolitical issues with Iran and Israel. Uh, but we know markets bounce back, right? What goes up must come down, and what goes down must go up, unless you're a shitcoin, which we're not going to talk about those today. But the first one that we believe is an absolutely easy 10x is Near Protocol, currently sitting at $3.59, down 11.86% on the one day. You can see here over the last week, it was trading at just seven days ago, over $5.00. And so we've done a lot of near protocol videos. Our base case for near is between 50 to a hundred dollars. So a 10 X from here is, is right around 36 bucks. So this is a no brainer. Now, why are we so bullish on near protocol outside of the price action, which I will share a chart towards the end. Uh, here's a video to really put it in perspective. Why we've been so bullish on near protocol since sub $1. So this does have music. I'm not going to play because it's probably copywritten, but the idea of making everything easy for retail, the idea of not having to worry about having 20 different accounts across 20 different blockchains, they call this chain abstraction, the ability uh, for developers to make money, the ability for onboarding developers with the use of JavaScript, the most uh, generally used coding language in the entire world, Near Protocol has it all. They got a great team, they got a great treasury, they got ties to NVIDIA. Uh, Ilya Polosukin, the founder, uh, was asked to speak at the NVIDIA convention 
by the NVIDIA conference, the only crypto native person to speak at that conference. So a lot of things are happening on Near Protocol, and chain abstraction is one of the reasons we believe Near Protocol has a very bright future. I mentioned AI. This is Near AI's master plan, teaching machines to code, use AI developer to teach machines to do to do research, and use AI researcher to advance science towards AGI that is owned by all. We'll talk about decentralized artificial intelligence. The long-term near vision has always been to enable all people to control their assets, data, and power of choice by transforming how we interact with computing. Take a look at the near protocol chart, which by the way, I'll be showing a chart on every one of these altcoins that I'm talking over today. Near protocol is at a very, very key level Literally right now at $3.52, if we zoom out and go back all the way to December of 2020, we take a look at how did price react to this area here. We saw a test as a resistance. We got rejected and then broke out. Uh, the, break, the breakout from this uh, retest here was around 75%. We came back down reclaimed this trend line, and then we saw another massive rally. We consolidated in this region between uh, May of 2021 through June of 2021 until we saw further downside. And then when we came up during the bull market, this is where we saw our stop. We saw this as resistance, came back down, and blew right through on our way to all-time highs. And then going into the bear market, we saw, again, consolidation in this range, support, resistance. You can see here one, two wicks that we tested as support and price reacted positively. You can see here before the big spill off we had, near protocol did have a bounce at this level. And that is exactly, I'm going to zoom back out here. That is exactly where we are right now. And you can see here, again, these two massive wicks that came all the way down to that $3.57 or $3.57 range, and price reacted positively. Now, anything can happen, but again, if Neuro Protocol fulfills its ecosystem, fulfills its roadmap and continues, we believe $3.57 is an absolutely easy 10X for Near Protocol. Now, the second one I want to talk about is Cardano. Uh, we did do a Cardano video talking about in more depth and detail why we're so bullish. I'll drop that link in the description of this video, but Cardano at $0.32. Cents. It did dip under 30 cents, as you can see here. It got all the way down to 27 cents. Price has rebounded fairly nicely. You can see here Cardano just seven days ago was at 41 cents. But to imagine Cardano got to over $3 last cycle with absolutely nothing happening, no smart contracts, no NFTs, no nothing, just rumors, speculation, and retail. To get to $3 from 5 cents, to assume that it can't get back to $3 with everything that is happening on the chain. Uh, the big one here is the partnership with Argentina that is starting to unfold right in front of our eyes. Argentina and Cardano announced partnership that can drive ADA in what is a massive development for the country's continued exposure to cryptocurrency. Argentina and Cardano have announced a brand new partnership that could be a catalyst for ADA. Also, we have the Chang hard fork, which is going to bring in the age of Voltaire, decentralization, unlocking money for the community, uh, the marketing budget, and of course, making it essentially the most decentralized user-owned chain in the entire crypto ecosystem. You also have partner chains that are coming. Cardano's IOHK rolls out Alpha V1 to tighten network security. Some of the highlights. They launched the Alpha V1 to introduce partner chains. The network seeks to address the vulnerabilities faced by other chains. This comes with several innovations, including SPO participation and shared security. And again, I did go uh, over this in more depth and detail in the Cardano video that you're going to find in the description of this video. Now, Cardano hasn't performed well against Bitcoin, but this is Cardano on the daily against the U.S. dollar. And it has reacted pretty nicely, again, dipping all the way down at 27.7 cents, currently trading at 31.92 cents. With everything happening in the Cardano ecosystem over in Argentina, you can see here this discount zone on the Lux Algo Price Action Concepts Indicator here. This discount zone was a great buy area. All you had to do was set a limit order between 26.3 and 28.8 cents. It would have gotten filled and you'd already be up. Even if you caught the middle of this week, you'd already be up around 14%. And we believe Cardano has a very, very bright future. So easy 10x. $3.15, $3.20. We believe base case for Cardano is closer to $7 to $8. Unless something crazy happens, 
So we believe a 10X is pretty standard and we feel pretty comfortable saying that we believe Cardano will do a 10X. Now the next one is Avalanche. Avalanche sitting under $20, down 5.29% over the last one day, $19.91. You can see here this nasty drop along with the rest of the markets. Seven days ago, uh, AVAX was trading at $27.45. Some of the reasons were so bullish on Avalanche, partly is their growing ecosystem. They've, they serve so many different narratives. I'm just gonna scroll down here and read this part. Avalanche's ecosystem development. Avalanche is building two further key pieces of technology, their hyper software developer kit and Avalanche warp messaging that use elastic subnets. Avalanche has uh, also has partnerships with Amazon Web Services and Tencent Cloud and performed a proof of concept demonstration with JP Morgan and Apollo all of which are indications of mainstream interest. Part of it is thanks to their evergreen subnets. The other one, which we talk about this on our on our live show all the time, is gaming is gonna be absolutely huge as more gamers are onboarded into Web3. And well, these are just some of the big titles on AVA Gaming or Avalanche Gaming. Uh, Providence, the two big ones here are Off the Grid and Shrapnel. Um, great gameplay, big developers, big money behind it. You got DeFi Kingdoms. Uh, shout out to Dreamer from DeFi Kingdoms if you're watching this. And so gaming, it's got big partnerships. It's got mainstream adoption. We take a look here. Uh, just a quick post here from the Off the Grid game. Finally got around to playing Off the Grid this weekend, and I think people are going to be blown away with how good of a product this game already is. I know my co-host Robin did a little play test and played around with this one, uh, and he's an avid gamer, and he said that this could potentially be one of the biggest games, if not the biggest game Web3 Gaming has ever seen happening on the Avalanche blockchain. You also have government partnerships as California's DMV puts 42 million car titles on the blockchain to fight fraud. And which blockchain? That is none other than the Avalanche blockchain, which will allow California's more than 39 million residents to claim their vehicle titles through a mobile app. The first such move in the United States. Now we know California is a massive economy, not just in the US, but globally as well. If this goes off without a hitch, Imagine what the rest of the states are going to do. Imagine what a country with a smaller GDP, a smaller economy than the state of California, they're going to look at this as a, as a test and say, wow, this thing worked. The, the uh, project didn't go down, right? The network didn't go down. Everything was great. It worked as, as advertised. Will we see more of this on the Avalanche blockchain if this thing goes off without a hitch? We believe so. And then, of course, you always hear about Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud partnerships, but they're not really partnerships. Like, we're just using them to host our cloud services. Well, Avalanche actually has a partnership with Amazon Web Services to help bring blockchain technology to enterprises and governments. Avalanche is the first blockchain to form a partnership with Amazon's cloud computing platform. So much happening for Avalanche. We're taking a look here. I have two charts for AVAX. This first one is Avalanche against BTC. And we are right now at a very, very key trend line here for Avalanche against Bitcoin. And this area you can see here, uh, I've mapped this trend line now going all the way back to December of last year. We have traded below. We recently flipped above traded along this trend line and the wick is where we currently are right now against bitcoin now unless the altcoin markets including avalanche completely nuke and bitcoin dominance rises to 60 percent we believe we're going to see a rally off of this trend line now avalanche uh, uh, against usdt on the daily we can see here we had this we broke out uh we had this head and shoulders play out you can see here our left shoulder we're going to map out our head and then of course our right shoulder. And you can see here this uh, this neckline uh, here, we retested it on the way back up. We failed to retest. So if you are gonna be a swing trader or potentially looking to swing trade your way into a bigger avalanche position, this $39 range is where I'd expect to get some immediate resistance. But avalanche reaching an all time high, if I zoom out to the weekly, reaching an all time high, let me get rid of this on the chart reaching an all-time high of over $147. A 10X from here does put it at over its last all-time high, but with everything happening on the AVAX chain, the evergreen subnets, the gaming, the ties to government, 
Uh, there are subnets and how you need 2,000 AVAX per validator to launch a subnet. These are all going to bring price pressure, upward price pressure to the AVAX token. So that's three down, three to go. Make sure you like this video if you enjoy the content and subscribe to the channel. The fourth one, or the third one I want to talk about, the fourth one, is Hedera. Now, Hedera sitting at 5.3 cents uh, just seven days ago, it was almost at seven cents, has seen a decent recovery. But the big play for Hedera here is definitely RWAs and enterprises with a governing council, big names such as Boeing, such as uh, Google, and other big names that are in there that they have ties to when these large enterprises and companies finally start to make the max mass exodus away from Web 2 into Web 3. We believe that Hedera will be at the forefront. You take a look here from Diffused Labs. In July, Hedera had more core developers than Cardano, Solana, Polygon, and Kronos combined. A more developer As more developers choose Hashgraph over blockchain, it will be interesting to see which network attracts more Web 2 companies. And again, this ties in with their governing council, right? These guys get allotted a certain amount of money and they have a certain amount of say in the ecosystem. So when you talk about, hey, we're looking to launch this and we're looking to tokenize funds, we're looking to uh, bring uh, 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 supply chain on the blockchain, Hedera is front and center and the Hashgraph technology is not like, what we, not like anything that we have on the cryptocurrency markets. Again, RWA, as mentioned before, uh, this is from the Hedera X handle. Real world asset tokenization is the next step for Web3 Hedera is the home for RWA. We take a look at the Hedera chart. This did reach an all-time high of just under 60 cents. So a 10X from here would put it at its last all-time high. Now, I don't want to be oblivious to the fact that not every single altcoin, not every single layer one will get back to its all-time high. We know that. There's probably more that won't versus that will. But we believe that Hedera is one of the ones that will reach a new all-time high, currently sitting again at this, uh, we got all the way down to that 4.45 cent level, currently sitting at around 5.35 cents. We could see, depending on how price closes, but this could be on the daily, a very, very bullish candlestick here. This is called a hammer that shows up at the bottom of a downtrend. You can see here the very last example, this was on uh, July 5th. This was on a Friday where we saw a hammer printing on the downward trend here, and what did the price of Hedera do therein? From close to the next high, we saw Hedera rally around 19 to 20%. So if this thing closes the way it looks now, or this body shrinks, um, this could be another potential reversal signal for Hedera. But for us, Hedera is more of a long-term play. Uh, we believe in Hedera long-term. So the fifth coin, and this one, uh, might be the the best play here. And we shared this on the live stream yesterday. It was sitting at 55 cents and I saw the price and I said, I did not realize how low this price got. This might be the best play to make up some ground the quickest. And that is none other than Ondo Finance, currently sitting at 72.45 cents. As you can see down here on CoinMarketCap on the daily, it got down to 50 cents. And it has rallied almost 30% over the last, well, 10% over the last day. It has rallied from 50 cents to 72 cents. The play here, guys, is very, very simple. You BlackRock, RWAs. That is it. That's all you need to know. They've essentially cornered that market outside of maybe Ethereum, which is a layer one. But this is what Ondo Finance is created, was created, and is meant to do is RWA tokenization. So Ondo Finance to move $95 million to BlackRock's tokenized fund for instant settlements for its T-bill token. Take a look here. Uh, again, Ondo Finance brings tokenized treasuries to the Cosmos ecosystem with Noble Integration. They've also integrated uh, their stablecoin product with the Aptos blockchain. So not only do they have ties to large institutions like BlackRock, uh, but they also are looking to expand into other chains, as mentioned, such as uh, Cosmos. Take a look at RWA. This sector is approaching $2 billion tokenized treasuries. You can see here just a massive explosion going back to uh, early April of this year as BlackRock's fund has taken over. We see the top entities on the bottom left, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see. Uh, Ondo is only second to securitize $522 million. And again, we know the uh, the links to BlackRock, right? BlackRock only is working with Ondo and Ethereum. 
And so if you believe that the, the trillions of dollars of treasury markets and the trillions of dollars of stable coin markets and the trillions of dollars of the commodities market and everything that cannot be made money on or traded will eventually be tokenized on the blockchain. How could you not be bullish on Ondo? And again, we take a look at the chart, just a beautiful, pro I mean, out of all the charts I've shown you so far, this is the only chart, the only project that I've shown you that has a green candle. I mean, think about this. Open, this open at around 68.6 .6 cents, came all the way down to 50 cents, and now is currently about to close green at 72.8 cents. Again, depending on how this candle closes, this could potentially be another hammer candlestick, which we know, as we showed in the Hedera one, we could see a big price rally for Ondo. Now, those five projects to us are the easy 10Xs, but we believe there's a project that could potentially be an easy 50X, and it's in the top 100, and the name of this project is Akash Network with the ticker AKT, up almost 1% on the one day at $2.11. Seven days ago, it was over $3. One month ago, it was at $3.62, reaching a local high of around $4. It did get all the way up to around $5, but this one is easy. This is an infrastructure, and this is an AI play, right? And when we talk about AI, we always group in the word compute, which the smartest people in the world, you have Jensen Huang, the CEO and founder of NVIDIA. You have Elon Musk. Of course, you know who Elon Musk is. They talk about compute will be the currency of the world because everyone is going to be fighting for it. And Akash is the world's premier decentralized compute marketplace. Key features of Akash's super cloud infrastructure as code, uh, Kubernetes powered persistent storage, dedicated IP listing. It is permissionless and it is peer to peer and private. And we take a look at the Akash chart here. What a better place right, I can say there is no better place. If you are looking to stack Akash network, the AKT token, this is the area you want to buy in this area between $1.55 and $1.95. We are currently just above that range at $2.07. We did dip below into this range. And why is this so important? We take a look here. This was back on, in August of last year. We saw price enter into the zone, get rejected. Then we saw price enter into the zone again in November of 2023. We saw a little bit of consolidation from around November 20th through the end of the year. And then Akash absolutely rallied. But on the way... Right on the way to this massive rally, it retested this region twice on a wick, and then it was a send off. And guess where we're at now? Currently sitting at three, two dollars and seven cents. A 50x from here is a hundred dollar Akash price with a current market cap on the Akash project at 510 million dollars. You're talking about a 25 billion dollar market cap for the world's premier decentralized compute marketplace where people can go peer to peer, uh, where you can earn money on compute and where you can lease and rent it as well. So those are the projects we're most bullish on. Which one of these six that I shared with you do you think will perform the best in this bull market cycle? Let us know in the comment section. Also come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.